everyone. Good afternoon and welcome to CT Style. I'm Teresa Dufour. And I'm Ryan Christopher. Thanks so much for hanging with us on this dreary... It's so rainy. Ugh. We heard the rain like almost coming through the roof, it sounded like. I'm blocking in, I think, three people in the parking lot and I hung up my keys on the little thing so people can move it. No one's moved. I, I don't think anyone's Nobody leaving work. Leave yeah, they're just going to so sleep over. rainy. Nasty. But we're happy that you're joining us, uh, whether at your home or at work or wherever, wherever you're watching you CT Style. Be. Thank yeah. you. Uh, we have a really fun show coming up. A lot of contests to tell you about. Uh, yeah, and a lot right? of good food. Two. It's a win-win. Yeah. Uh, but first, we have a living local deal up. Uh, all uh, it's going to get. Let's start again, shall we? Yeah. Free money. Atelier Florian. Uh, WTNH.com/slash/livinglocaldeals. We'll let you know how you can score one of those. Uh huh. Also, the Connecticut Agricultural Fairs is getting us ready for fair season baking and quilting contests. So get your. And that your, last picture is well, Cambridge Pavers. Yes, which is like your favorite segment every time they come. It on is, the show but it's special it's, today because it's a jingle contest. Oh yeah, and and do we want to replicate it? I think we'll save it for these. No, segments. let's do it now. Hey, Cambridge. <laughs> Maybe you could win. I don't know if you're eligible, yeah. but I'd root for you. You can win 500 bucks. You're going to post your version of it on social media. So we're going to talk to Brian and learn how you can oh do it. Oh, boy. That, hey, guess. but first, we have to give a huge birthday shout out to one of our favorite people. To my queen, Queenie O'Geary. She is our producer Joyce's lovely sister. Um, Look how pretty they are. They're gorgeous. And, and she is such a kind, loving person. So we want to shout out. To hey. Queenie, big supporter of. CT I'm not sure style. she's watching, however, because I think she's in Europe at the moment. She, where is she? Sweden. Sweden. Yes. Sweden. I'm, I'm sure she she's on the watching. Best trips. We have to live vicariously through her. Yeah. Can you invite us next time, Queenie? Please. We're waiting for our invite. All right. <laughs> all right. Today's dishes are presented by Stern Academy. Maybe it was all part of God's plan. I see yeah. what you did there. I didn't do anything, but Drake, Drake has yeah. just broken a Billboard Hot 100 record, previously held. By the Beatles for Historic. more than 50 years. It's crazy. The Canadian rapper scored his 35th top 10 single on the Billboard Hot 100 singles chart with Money in the Grave. I know it's one of your all time favorite songs now. Passing the Beatles for the second most top 10s of all time. And he's got a couple more to catch up with the all time leader, Madonna, who has 38. Uh, Money in the Grave debuted at number seven and still at number one, though. Old Town, Old Town Road, Road huh? Ride I can't no more. I mean, there's something for everyone in that song, I guess. Yeah, I, I think there is. Is Dante into it? Is your no. little guy? He, he's you not? know what he is into? What? Miley Cyrus. My, does like, she even have music out right now? I don't know. Wrecking right Ball now? and Party in the USA, he sings all the time. What are you guys listening Wrecking to? Wrecking Ball started because he was into construction equipment. Oh, that's why. And, and then, then this he, is just he was Googling it and he found the song. Miley and Cyrus. Then it, how, how about this one? I, I don't know if he would go this far back yeah. in time. Avril Lavigne, she's back, I guess, on <laughs> he tour. He doesn't know that one, but Skater Boy, right? That's what she's known for? Yeah, and uh, after five years, she's going back on tour. She has suffered from Lyme disease. I guess it was oh. pretty debilitating for her. Um, so what they're going to do, according to Rolling Stone, she's going to donate a dollar of each ticket that she sells on her tour to go to help others oh, who also great. suffer from Lyme disease. So she's going to be actually playing at the Oakdale Theater October 5th in Wallingford. But we were talking about that song, Skater Boy. Do you remember it? Do you want to sing it for us? I have no idea the words. She was a skater boy. That's one of those songs. Does anyone know the words? It's just like you go. Like other songs like that are like Come on Eileen. You remember? Come on Eileen. Yeah, right. We didn't start the fire. Try. I kind of know the Harry Truman, Doris Day, uh, Red, uh, China, right. China, okay. Ray, oh, well. <laughs> North Korea, That's South That's for Korea, a whole different show. Marilyn Could, Monroe. <laughs> okay, all right, all right, we get it. All hail Teresa on this one. but I see the point yes. you're making, and that's that. I mean, what is a skate like skateboard? Yeah, like a skate. He's a skater boy. Like with the Justin Bieber hair and he rode skateboards. And I guess it was really 90s, huh? That was like your type back in the day, right? Skater Negative. boy? No? Okay. <laughs> so how many cups of coffee did you drink through your day today? How, uh, how many are you in so far? Not enough. I'm, I'm, well, I had two. I don't know where my coffee... Oh, my coffee's still over there. Come on, can I get that coffee over there? Do you mind grabbing that for me? Thanks. Well, there's a new study, right, that, that is, is... I actually like news? this study. A, a, a caffeinated beverage might help you slim down. It's true. Researchers from the University of... Minningham found that coffee helps jumpstart brown fat reserves, which help you burn calories. Okay. The team says this is the first study in humans to show direct impact on brown fat functions. Uh, I am unfamiliar with brown fat, but if it, if I can get rid of it and drink coffee, easy. If you don't know, now you know. Shout out to our boy Karan for bringing in some How nice. extra love for Karan, us here on the set. Me, here you go. Cut down on that brown fat, whatever. There you go. 
right. All right, so everyone knows about lucky seven, they yeah. say. Do you have a lucky number? Uh, 27. 27. Is, is mine. How, how about yours? Uh, probably one. One? I was always number one, like uh -oh. baseball, All right, well. softball. I'm just the best. <laughs> just saying, yeah. that was my number. How about lucky zero? Yeah, no, I don't know. I no? mean, for some one woman, apparently it was lucky. No, for, for a lot of people, there were more than 2,000 winning tickets on Saturday, this past weekend, for the North Carolina Pick 4 Lottery's $7.8 million <laughs> jackpot. And the winning numbers were zero, 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 zero. So, I wonder how often that happens. I don't think too 2014 often. 2014 winners. That's crazy. That's so, not even being creative. It's just zero, 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 zero. It, That's like your phone password. Isn't exactly. that your phone? Yes. Is that that is your phone password? Well, let me. I don't believe you. Is it really? Hold on. Let's just see if we Funny. can get this going. You can keep doing the show. I'm just going to try to break into your phone. Yeah, and and work. how come You're I have? You're going to lock me out now. How come there's nine missed calls and voicemails for me? You never answer your phone when I call. Why do you call it inconvenient times? Oh, that's what it is. Okay. All right, Cirque du Soleil, the big top is returning to Hartford for the first time in nine years with Lucia. Yeah, this is going to be a. A beautiful experience. I, I know is. a lot of people have already gone, and they just said it's really breathtaking. It's a uh, waking dream of Mexico, and we're giving away a pair of tickets to one lucky winner. You can delight your senses with these breathtaking and heartwarming experiences. Uh, it's fun for the whole family. Mark your calendars. Yeah, this now. show goes until July 21st. You can go to wtnh.com/contests for your chance to win. I can't